Okay, so this is a video on how to use Screencast-O-Matic uh, to record anything that's happening on either your screen or on your webcam. Uh, now the one thing that Screencast-O-Matic really can't do very well is make a video of itself. Um, you can probably start to imagine why that would be very, very difficult. So I'm using a uh, camera watching the computer screen today. Not the best of solutions, but it'll do for today. Alright, so first thing you need to do, this is uh, how Screencast-O-Matic looks when it opens, except you won't have all of these things here. Uh, now you want to record something, so click the record button. Now this happens. It looks like Screencast-O-Matic Screencast vanishes, uh, except for the fact that you can see my webcam here, and if you look really closely you can see uh, the video camera in front of me there, uh, and also this little thing here, this box here, and a record button here. So we're not actually recording anything yet, we're just getting ourselves set up. Now, you running through this really quickly, you can see that you can choose to record screen only, so my webcam disappears. You can choose to record webcam only, and there I am. Or you can choose to record both, which I think a lot of people will do quite a bit of the time, but really depends on what kind of video you're making. Okay, so uh, now, max time. Leave the max time at none. It doesn't really matter how long. You can press record and press pause. Uh, now, the size. Now, you can either do full screen. Now, if you do full screen, it's capturing absolutely everything on there. You can choose active window. Now, that means that it will record everything in the active window. Now, that means it's just, it's going to record my PowerPoint window, but it's not going to show any of this stuff. Alternatively, and this is one I use quite a bit, you can use this one here, which creates this movable, resizable box. Uh, and that movable, resizable box will record whatever's in the box. Okay, so pretty handy. Um, so I can run through my PowerPoint and only get what's in the box. Now I can also move my webcam around. I'll move my webcam out of that box. Now, um, for purposes of demonstration, I'm not actually, even though I do use this movable box quite a bit, uh, it can be a bit of a pain, so I'm just going to put it back to full screen. So that's going to record everything on my screen there. Um, now you can see this here, these green lights keep flashing, that means my microphone's working here. Um, now your computer will probably only have like a default microphone or a couple of others, choose the default one obviously. Okay, uh, seems to be working okay, good. And you can see those green lights are moving, as long as they're working that's fine. Now this one here, computer audio, uh, should, uh, this is one that you should probably have a little bit of a think about should it record your computer's sounds? Now, in most instances, you can probably click no for this, but sometimes you might want to make a video where you're like critiquing a YouTube video or something like that. So it's, it's like a video inside a video. In that case, you probably want to click yes on that computer audio. By any, in any case, it's, I think it's clicked yes by default. Actually, it might be clicked no by default. Have a think about it anyway. Um, experiment, you'll see what you what settings you prefer. Okay, record, let's try it out. I'm going to click record here and it'll give us a countdown. Okay, three, it's not recording yet, now it's recording just like the movies, three, two, one, and then you go. So it's, up, it's recording everything that we can see here. Uh, it'll record anything that happens on our screen. It'll record our mouse movements as well. Uh, so Okay, let's learn about uh, hypotenuse today. Here's the hypotenuse here. Let's learn about this stuff and this stuff and blah, 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 and we're done. And I'm not sure what's on the next slide. So I'm gonna press pause. Okay, so you can see that I've pressed pause there. That means it's stopped recording. So I've done 26 seconds of video on my thing. Now, I'm gonna scroll down a little bit, set, reset myself up and go, okay, I'm ready to start talking again. I'm going to click record and it'll give me the countdown in. Three, two, one, and it'll pick up where I left off. So I can click this, click this, keep talking, keep talking. Oh, what am I going to say next? So take a bit of a breather, think about what you're going to say. I've paused it and then record and it'll give me the countdown back in. Three, two, one, and as I was saying, here's a really sweet triangle and maybe you should give them a try. Okay, so I've recorded about 36 seconds worth of video here, uh, and I'm pretty happy with it, so I'm going to click the Done button.
Now, there's a bin here, you can delete everything and start all over again. I really suggest that when you're making these videos, you really embrace your mistakes. If you make a mistake, just say, oh, oh that's not what I meant, I'm going to go back here, and keep going with your video. Uh, otherwise, you're going to find that you're going to do retake after retake, you're going to keep shoving stuff in the bin, and it's going to take hours and hours to make a simple five-minute video. All right, so I'm going to click Done. And it brings you to this screen here. So right now what we have is called a Screencast-O-Matic project. It's not really a video just yet. First thing, I'm going to name it so I don't lose it. I'm going to name it um, Video Demonstration. Yeah, so it's got a name now. Done. Now, I'll just press play here so you can see how it works. Now it's recording, just like the movies, 3, 2, 1, and then you go. So it's, up, it's recording everything that we can see here. Uh, so you can see it's pretty cool. It's... Uh, it's um it's recording everything that we've done over the time. You can see it puts a little yellow thing around that mouse there. Uh, it's got my webcam over here. Now, um, I said don't really bother with editing too much. One little thing that you, I can show you is you can just trim off the edges just a little bit. So let's say like you took a couple of seconds getting yourself set up. You can cut those first couple of seconds off. And let's say at the end you did something weird, you can cut that little bit off the end as well. All right. So, I have a video demonstration, and then really your last step here is to save your video. So, I'm going to go over here, it says save as video file. Now, maybe someone cl cleverer than I can decide what type they're going to use. Uh, MP4s, or GIFs, or FLVs, or AVIs. Now, I tend to go for AVIs, so I've just found that they upload faster to YouTube. I'm guessing they're probably fairly low quality, but they seem to do the job for everything that I've done. File name, I've already called it Video Demonstration. Now, folder, where do you want to save it? You guys know how to do that stuff. I'm just going to save it to the desktop. Uh, there's not going to be any captions, and then I'm, now I'm going to click Publish. All right, so this little time is going to pop up here, and it's going to take a little while to publish. Um, once it's published, though, 29%, 60%, duh, 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 you can see it, it, this is actually, I think it's called rendering in the video business. Uh, it's rendering itself as a video file, and it's a video file great. So if I go to my computer full of stuff, there it is here, video demonstration. Now, really the last step here is just to upload that to YouTube, and I might cover that in a future video, uh, because this video has gotten long enough by now, I think. Okay, so that's using um, Screencast-O-Matic to record a video.